Well, hello everybody. It's so funny because I have a friend who said, do you know that every time you start your video, you do this? And I'm like, yeah, I guess I do, don't I? So it's like my little thing that I have to do to say hi to everybody. So welcome, good morning. Uh, it's a beautiful, fabulous Facebook Friday, Facebook Live Frilici Friday. We are ready to go. I've got lots and lots and lots of good stuff to tell you guys about. Um, you know, yeah, so there's always there's always something good going on and let's see. I Oh, and guess what? We're not sideways any longer. So I have to tell you guys kind of a funny story. So I know I'm not very, uh, hi Sandra, good morning, how are you? Um, yeah, so I'm not very technologically savvy, I guess, um, I would say, because Lily, hi Marianne, good morning, how are you? Um, she came home from school last Friday and I was like, Lil, we gotta go to the Verizon store, I gotta figure out what's wrong with my phone, it won't like flip, you know, when I uh, um, look at a picture, you know, normally you can flip it and then I realized at the very last minute, oh shoot, it was gonna be a problem with Facebook Live too, so yes. Um, oh, thank you, thank you for the birthday wishes. <laughs> for the directional challenge. Yeah, so anyway, she was like, well, wait a minute, let me look at your phone. So she literally like, you know, wakes the phone up and she's like, oh, I see what the problem is. Like she didn't have to like touch anything or do anything. There was like a little lock button up in the top of the phone that somehow, um, and I don't even know what you call it, but basically I had to swipe up and there was a little lock icon that was, it was locked, like there was like a little, I don't know, circle around a lock basically was that look of the icon. And somehow that had been pushed, which means like, you know, whenever you move your phone, probably like Marianne, you were saying you like, you froze your screen or something. I guess that's what somehow happened on my phone, but I have no idea how that button ever got pushed. So good morning, Joyce. So anyway, like I said, in like 0.2 seconds, Lily figured out how for me to, you know, be able to flip my phone. So when you unlock it, then it will flip every time you move your phone. So we didn't have to make a trip to the Verizon store, which I was thrilled about. Um, yeah, go kids, right? They, <laughs> they know a lot about these things. Let's see, Marianne, she says, that's me. I have to find one of my kids or grandkids to help me with the technology. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I mean, I, you know, I always thought I kind of knew what I was doing, but the older I get and the less I'm, I don't know, out and about involved in the world or something, I don't know what <laughs> the less I know about. So whatever, yeah, it's good we have resources, so. Yay, awesome. Um, and yeah, like I said, uh, thank you for the birthday wishes. I got really so many sweet cards. I, it, was, it was a great birthday yesterday. And I can tell you, I mean, now, you know, I can say from my experience, right, that, that the touch of a handmade card, or even not, I had actually a really funny card that a friend of mine sent me. I don't have it right here, but it kind of like hit the nail on the head with me, the, the little, um, the outside of the card anyway, it was really sweet. So I think just, you know, somebody taking just a couple minutes out of their day to think of you and jot a little note and send it on its way, it, it touches you. So yeah, I mean, I, I was touched and I think that's what we can all kind of take away from it is, um, you know, how much people really appreciate those handmade cards in the mail. So hi Rosa, good morning, how are you? Um, hopefully everything's good for everybody. Um, so let's see, I think, um, Oh, one thing I've got on my notes here, but before I forget, um, I wanna make sure to let everybody know um, next weekend I'm gonna be going to a conference and it starts Friday morning. So we're not gonna be able to do a Facebook Live next Friday. So we will reconvene two Fridays from now, which might be the, well, today's the 14th, so the 28th will be the next Facebook Friday, Facebook Live, okay? So, um, yeah, just want to make sure everybody knows that. And I'll remind you again at the end, too. Um, yeah, because, yeah, that conference starts on Friday morning, so there's no way to do a Facebook Live in the middle of the conference there. So, unfortunately, but you never know. If I think of it, maybe I'll go live for a few minutes down there because it's actually, like, a really fun, um, it's a stamping conference, basically. So um, there'll be lots of fun stuff going on down there. So maybe, um, I don't know if it'd be right at 1130, but just watch on this um, Stamp Studio Facebook group. Maybe I'll do a quick live video just to kind of show you guys what's going on down there. So, okay, um, let's go ahead. We're gonna do our first drawing for, do I have them right here? Yes, these were the galvanized clips. Um, yeah, I don't know if you, you can't, I got them in a little package, but I showed you guys these last week. They're the super cute, kind of like a wide paper clip that are in the new holiday catalog. So here we go. I've got my paper pumpkin bag, right? I'm gonna 
shake these all around. We've got lots of entries. You guys know the deal, right? One entry for commenting and three entries if you share the video. Just make sure you put a quick comment on your share and that'll get you in the drawing for next week. Actually, two weeks from now, I'll show you that. So you got lots of time to comment and share as many times as you comment and share. Um, well, hi, Philomena, how are you? Welcome, I'm glad you can join us. Okay, so the winner is Miss Kim Klein. I feel like, did she, guys, can you see it? Yep, there she is, Miss Kim Klein. Thank you, Rosa, for the share, I appreciate that. I feel like Kim might have won last week or so too, but congratulations, Kim's living well these days. She's living right. Um, I think somebody said maybe she ought to play the lottery too. So congratulations, Miss Kim Klein. And let's see. What, oh, let me show you guys what we're gonna, oh my gosh, what we're gonna give away this week. So it's not open and I kind of hesitate to open it. I wish I had another. It is the, um, let me make sure I'm gonna say it right, the Mary Merlot and Copper, it's a reversible. I'm gonna put it right up there. You guys, can you kind of see, it's almost, is it like an organdy? I don't know. It's really, really shimmery. And this is the Mary Merlot side, and then the other side has a little bit of a copper uh, tone to it, but it's it's reversible, so both sides are great. And they just, it's not super like noticeable that this side is Mary Merlot and then this one is copper. So it just, oh, it is beautiful ribbon. So one entry for commenting and then three entries if you share the Facebook Live video now or anytime. Uh, by the time Thursday night, what would that be, September 27th rolls around. If you share or comment, your name goes in the drawing to win that beautiful, I wish you guys, I kind of want to pull it apart. I've shown you though on other Facebook Live videos and it's in the catalog too, but it's just gorgeous ribbon. So let me, let me scoot this out of the way. Um, I gotta dump all those names out of there because um, now we're gonna do our other drawing. I think we're just gonna cruise right along because I have class this afternoon down at the stamp studio at one o'clock, so I have to make sure that I'm done with Facebook Live in time to get down to class. And then just so you guys know, because I love to hop on and like respond to comments and um, you know, and uh, like add my additional comments with links and things about what I talked about, I may not get a chance to do that um, this afternoon before I go to class. Um, so it might be tomorrow that I so respond and put other comments in there. So just know that I, I appreciate all the comments and the shares, and I will definitely be responding to everything. It just not might not be this afternoon. So, okay. Um, yeah, so let me make sure, you know, me and my notes. Yeah, okay, so this is what we're gonna draw for now. This um, is the drawing. If you put in an online order and use the host code, you just have to order at least $30 in product, then your name went in the drawing to win. This is the real red, was this the mixed? Yeah, yep, the real red mixed satin ribbon. This is a bolt of ribbon that's in the holiday catalog. And then the swirls and curls, there it is right there, the swirls and curls embossing folder. So we had a couple of online orders this week. Um, so I'm putting those in there. We're gonna shake it around again, and let's see who the winner is. I'm gonna make sure I have just one in my hand here. And the winner is Miss Leah Patton. Congratulations, can I get that in there? Get that just right. So congratulations, Leah. I'll be getting this sent out to you very shortly. Um, let's see, let's see, what else? You guys wanna know what we're gonna give away? So this will be <clears throat> this giveaway drawing is good from now until Wednesday the 26th. You can see like the, <laughs> the wheels trying to turn in my head on the date there. I'm pretty sure that's right. Wednesday, I might even, yep, I even put that in my notes. Wednesday the 26th, we are gonna draw, um, if you put in an online order of at least $30, your name goes in the drawing to win. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sandra, you'll let her know. I appreciate that. Um, so I have it on order, but I don't have it yet. So this is gonna be backwards. But this is the host stamp set called Warm Hearted that's in our holiday catalog. So if you guys can see, there's a thanks, a couple of cute little, I don't know, little liney, arrowy kind of things. Cheers to the new year, boo boo, that's cute, Merry Christmas, and then a bunch of other fun little embellishments and things too. So I will have this in my hot little hands for um, the drawing that we do in two weeks, here are a bunch of projects that they made 
with that super cute host stamp set. So that's what we will draw for in two weeks from now. If you put an online order and your name's gonna go into the drawing to win this. And then you also, every single time you put that online order in of at least $30, you, you get the projects that I demonstrate at the end of our Facebook Live video, okay? So you're always a winner if you put an online order and you always get free cards from me and then you might even get the, um, the freebie too. Plus you guys know if you bump your order up to $50, you always get a free embellishment from me um, in, with your thank you cards too. So hi Sunday, how are you? I'll see you at the stamp studio soon. I'm glad you can join us. Um, okay, I'm moving right along. Let's see, what else, what else? Uh, uh, oh, okay. Thank you, Philomena, for the share. I appreciate that. So starting tomorrow also, not to, I don't want to say not to confuse things, but anyway, basically starting tomorrow, I'm doing something called a thousand dollar workshop. I don't know if you can see my little, my cute little graphic there, but you will, I'll have a blog post tomorrow morning on gatheringinspiration.com. And then I am also sending out an email about all the details. I'm going to tell you about it now too, but here's the idea behind this thousand dollar workshop. I did this last year and it was really, really popular. So I thought, okay, for one week only, I'm going to do it again. So it starts tomorrow, Saturday, September 15th and runs through next Saturday, September 20th second. I'm looking for 10 people that want to put a $100 order in. If you want to put a $200 in your or $200 order, then you'd be considered like two people, right? But this is the awesome part. Okay. Nine people are going to get $20 in free product and one person is going to get a half off item. Normally, okay, this is awesome, right? If you put a $100 order in, you get $20 in free stuff or a half off item. Normally, you have to put in like at least a $150 order and then you get $15 in free stuff. So I can kind of, um, if I put all the orders together, that helps me get you this additional free product like this. So let me know if you are interested. You can shop online. Um, honestly, that could even start today if you're shopping online. Um, I'm gonna give you this host code because it's a different one than I normally give you at the end of our Facebook Live videos because this is just for the $1,000 workshop. So if you wanna put an order in and it's less than this, then just use the other host code that I'll give you in a little bit. But this is the one that you're gonna use if you wanna put your $100 order in online. And I will have this posted on gatheringinspiration.com and it will be emailed out to you. But the host code is yfcf 7 g M N and like I said that'll be on my blog too but the the thing is if you put in an online order then you just have to email me what you would like for your twenty dollars in free stuff or your half off item because I'm gonna put everybody's names in a hat and then or one of my little bags right and I'm gonna draw them out for who gets the twenty dollars in free stuff and who gets the half off item so if you order online that product will ship directly to you, directly from Stampin' Up, and then I will order all the host benefits and send those to you separately. Either you pick them up here at the stamp studio or I ship them to you. There would be an additional shipping charge for that host stuff, but we'll figure that out when that time comes, okay? Or if you email me an order, then I can just put it in for you um, and then we'll get it to you, um, you know, well, yeah, I mean, I guess I could put it in. I haven't really thought about that. I'm thinking local people might just email me an order, but even if you're not local, you can email me an order if you're not comfortable putting an order in online, and then I can get it sent to you. And then, like I said, email me. You always have to email me with either your $20 in free stuff or your half off items. So $1,000 workshop starts uh, today, tomorrow, whatever, um, through next Saturday, the 22nd. So uh, like I said, I'll send an email and there'll be a post on my blog. So there'll be more details if, you know, if you have questions on anything or just get a hold of me. Um, email me is amy.ferlici at yahoo.com. That's my email address. That's how you get a hold of me through email. Okay. Or send me a Facebook message, whatever is easier for you. I'm good. I check lots of different ways as often as I can. <laughs> Um, okay. Oh, now guess what we're going to do? You guys have probably been all waiting for this. Let me find my sheet. So we have, oh, hi, Amy Jo. Good morning. How are you? Um, we are going to do the super summer giveaway drawing. So this was the drawing that I did or the, the kind of the contest that I did all summer long. And now I have all the prizes so I can 
um, uh, do all of the um, drawings now. So this was the contest, basically started on June 1st, ran through the end of August, and you got entries into this drawing for the following things, right? You got one entry for each event that you attended at the stamp studio. You guys probably can't even see this, can you? Maybe I won't even, I'll just read it to you. You got two entries for every $50 that you spent, and that was online orders and local orders here too. You got two entries each time you posted a picture of a project like I demonstrated on our Facebook Live that week. So we had lots of fun with those um, postings too. I love that. I love you guys sharing what you guys are up to also. It really, I think it's kind of fun and inspiring for everybody. Um, you also got two entries for each new guest that you brought to class. You got three entries if you joined a club, which are Simple Beautiful Card Club, Scrapbook Club, Paper Pumpkin, In Color Club, and then actually the to-go kits, there's a club option for that one also. Basically, you just say, I wanna sign up for the to-go kits for the next 12 months, um, and then you can pick whichever option, one, two, or three. There's always, you know, there's kind of the mega Mac Daddy option in those, um, and then kind of a medium and then a lower price. So, you know, you don't have to feel like you have to spend tons of money every single month, but that is also another club that is offered too. So. Um, yeah, so three entries if you joined any of those clubs, five entries if you bought the starter kit, and another five entries if you had a private class or party down at the stamp studio. So I have tons and tons and tons of entries, and this is my other little, where does it say Stampin' Up? Oh, right there. There it is. So this was my other little guy that I, these are like little trash bins from Stampin' Up. But can you guys hear? So we, um, they're like little lemon uh, my lemon punch basically so I wrote everybody's names every time you know any of the ways that you got entries so there are like a million of these things in here from all summer long and where are my prizes okay let's grab let me show you I'm gonna go right down my list and I actually have my pen because I want to make sure I don't screw up anything um, in terms of who gets what right I could always rewatch the video but you know okay so the first one we are gonna draw for let me get a couple of these out, out of here these are called the All is Bright Paper Clips. So these are so, so, so cute. So there's a little star and a little Christmas tree, right? So there's both of those shapes. I'm gonna guess maybe eight or 10 of each of them in this little pack right here. Okay, so first, first one, the All is Bright Paper Clips go to Oh my gosh, this is like a lot of pressure because there are so many. Okay, let me make sure I just have one, right? Oh my gosh, Miss Sally McLennan. Sally M is the winner. Okay, I'm going to write that right on my little sheet too so I don't. Okay, I got to stay organized, ladies. All right, next we are going to give away. Oh my gosh, this is the corrugated embossing folder. We're actually gonna use this on a project that I'm gonna demonstrate later so you guys can see. It basically, it kind of makes it look like, you know, like corrugated cardboard is kind of the idea, but you can use it, um, you know, on any paper that you like. Okay, and the winner of the corrugated, oh, it's the dynamic textured impressions embossing folder. I gotta say all that, because it's one of the thick ones, right? That one goes to, oh, I can't even read. It's too dark. Oh, Miss Darcy Martin. So it's in a blue. I used all of our new ink colors. So Darcy Martin, and I think she just got the big shot not too long ago. So that's going to be really fun for her. Now she's got something fun to use um, in her big shot, right? Okay. Ooh. All right. So hi, Nikki. Good morning. How are you? I'm glad you could join us. So this one I, I had to open because I had to see it myself. The other ribbon that I didn't open, I already had that, so I didn't have to didn't have to open that one. But this one is the Poppy Parade. It's that um, stitched, I don't know, whatever, stitched weave kind of a ribbon. This is the fun one. Um, do you guys remember last week I shared, because um, I don't think I had that, did I? So if you guys remember those cute um, post-it note holders that we made with extra paper pumpkin um, leftover stuff, the, the ribbon that we tied around it, it was actually the granny apple green but this same type of ribbon so what i was trying to explain was that you cut off that little white edge and then in this case the little pink the um, poppy parade um, ribbon or the little threads i guess you can just pull those apart and then tie those around i just tied them in a little knot but 
I'm telling you what, I want to pull apart every single ribbon that we have and just have some fun with it. But I won't do it to this ribbon, I promise, because this one is going to go to, let's see, who are we going to give it to? Such a pretty one. All of these are new products in our holiday catalog. Okay, so let's see. This one goes to only one, only one lemon lime. Oh, Miss Sharon Greening. You guys see that? There we go. All right, congratulations, Sharon. I will have this down at the stamp studio for you. And, okay, I gotta make that note. I'm doing a good job of keeping my notes here. Okay, next, oh, these are so cute. These are the Santa's Workshop Enamel Shapes. It's funny, because those bows are upside down, so there are little trees. Can you guys see that they're like little white um, snowflakes or stars? And, oh, okay, then the others are like um, the enamel dots in the red, the green, and the white. I don't know if it tells me. I'm thinking it might be real red, garden green, and then whisper white. But here, those are the bows. You can see them better. Now the trees are upside down. But Oh, let's see. Sandra says she pulled apart the nature's twine. Ooh, and it is divine because it is kinky. Oh, I bet, because it's almost like it's kind of twisted around itself. Oh, very cool. I'm going to have to try that, Sandra. Oh, I want, Like I said, I want to pull apart every ribbon that we have now. <laughs> so what fun. You should post a picture. Can you put a picture on our Facebook group so we can see your nature's twine all pulled apart? We would like to see that. Okay, so this one is going to go to, I've got one here, uh, Miss Mary Nyehouse. All right, congratulations. Mary is the winner of those super cute little Santa's workshop uh, enamel shapes. All righty, we got a couple more to go, ladies. Um, oh, okay, this is another fun one. I love washi tape, especially this time of year. You can make super quick, simple um, holiday cards with this washi tape that is the Sweet Season Specialty Washi Tape. Can you see that? It's actually got like one, two, yep, it's five different ones. There's some plaid and some other fun patterns on there. It's hard to see gold, gold stripes and maybe some stars. Okay, so that one is gonna go to, let's see, let's see, who's it gonna go to? Only one, only one. There are like stacks of them in here. <laughs> the other ones, because um, they're folded in half, they don't stack together quite the same way. But okay, this one goes to Miss Jerry Grover. All right, congratulations, Jerry. I will have that um, washi tape for you down at the stamp studio. Okay, and then we have one more. Oh, another total favorite. This is the Joyous Noel um, uh, Glimmer. Yeah, the Glimmer paper. Yep, Joyous Noel. And I did, because I have to see this. I have to show you guys this too. So I'm trying to remember the colors that are in here. I don't know if I know, to be honest, the names of them. I know this one is a copper. Look at that paper. Okay, so copper, red, and green. There are more technical colors, but I don't know. But isn't that awesome? I think you get eight sheets of this glimmer paper in your pack. So sorry, whoever wins this, it's already open. I promise they're all in there. But okay, so last one. Here we go. The winner is, can you guys see? Can you hear me? I'm all shaking it all up. They always are shaking up really well, I think. Oh, Miss Marianne McGinnis is the winner. All right, congratulations, Marianne. I will have that sent out to you. So, very good. Okay, so what fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that contest this summer, right? And all the fun prizes. Okay, let's see, let's see. Um, sorry, I have to set that stuff aside so that it, I get really easily confused otherwise, you know? But okay, I think we're good. My hair is bugging me, sorry guys. Oh, hey, congratulations, Marianne. I'm glad that you like that. I know I love glimmer, glimmer paper too. So that will be lots of fun for you this holiday season, I'm sure. It's good for fall projects too, especially that copper paper, it's beautiful. Oh, you're very sweet, Sandra. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Oh, now I wanna show you guys. Okay, so these were, um, I think I mentioned that we did that customer appreciation event down at the stamp studio last week. Um, and so I made these cute little Halloween, they're like the pillow box, right? So the pillow boxes I didn't have to make. These pillow boxes are straight out 
of our annual catalog. And then I bought, used some product from the holiday catalog. So can you guys see, cause I love more ribbon. Oh, what fun this is. Actually, there's something on there. Let me get that off. Um, but this is the glittered black organdy. Can you guys see how, ooh, there's the glitter, right? So I did a Facebook, or not a Facebook Live, but a YouTube video. There's a post on my blog to it, gatheringinspiration.com. So if you go there, you'll see the post. It tells you all the products that we used, and then it has a link to the YouTube video so you guys can see it um, in action, you know, exactly how to put it together. It was very, very simple because we didn't have to make the boxes. It was basically the tag, and then I just gave you a little trick on how to tie that ribbon or get the ribbon on the little pillow box. And then we put some little, these little baby Kit Kats fit perfectly inside. So isn't that fun? Um, let's see, Marian's asking if the boxes are soft suede. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna say craft. So soft suede is maybe a little bit darker and crumb cake is maybe a little bit lighter. I don't know, you know how we've had like craft cardstock in the past? Can you see that? So little polka dots, so it's, it might be hard to tell because it is even in the catalog too, I noticed. So I would say it's like a craft, um, you know, like cardboard, like the inside of your cereal box, that kind of a color. And then it's got little teeny tiny white polka dots on them too. You get 10 of them in a package and they're just super easy to put together. You might be able to see them even a little bit better on my YouTube video too, but yeah, they're really good, really, really sturdy. Um, and I just love them. Okay, sorry, got distracted. I got a text, I gotta swipe that out of the way. So thank you. I think that they're, they were lots of fun and actually, shh, cause these are gonna be the club member treats this month too. Um, so if you're a club member, you'll be getting this. If I haven't seen you at class or club yet, you'll be getting one of these um, as a club member treat this month too. So you guys know, right? I love to spoil my club members. I think I was saying before all the different clubs that you can join. So if you're local, there is the Scrapbook Club. Um, oh, Philomena saying, yes, they're craft. It might even say that in the catalog. Thank you, Philomena, I appreciate that. I always love you guys like, you know, referring maybe to the catalog or wherever so that that, because I can't do that while I'm live right here. I don't bring my catalog over here as often as I should. So thank you, Philomena, I appreciate it. You got my back on that one. Um, okay, oh, so I was talking about clubs. So if you're local, there is the Simple Beautiful Card Club and the Scrapbook Club. And the idea behind any of these clubs, oh, <laughs> that's sweet, Sandra, you spoil all of us. Well, I appreciate that you think that. I try to, I really appreciate every single one of you. If I don't say that enough, I, I hope I do, but I really, really do. I appreciate every single one of you and your business and your support of my small business. Um, you know, it's hard, it's a lot of work running a small business. So to show that appreciation, hopefully everybody feels that. and. Um, yeah, so thank you. Um, okay, so back to clubs. So what was I talking about? Oh, so the cool thing about clubs are basically, so if you're local, you say, I'm gonna come to class every single month for 12 months, you put an order in, one month you get host benefits, um, at least $30 in host benefits. If the orders are greater to provide you know, higher host benefits, then you can get more host benefits, but it's at least $30 in free stuff one month during your club membership. Plus you always get the cute little treats from me and it's just fun to come to class and like make the projects and have that camaraderie with others as you're crafting together, right? So other clubs, are, um, well, In Color Club, that is just a product-based club. That's been going on for a while, but honestly, if you wanna get into um, In Color Club, if you don't have all the In Color products, I would be happy to get you started on that. It's been going for a few months, but you know what? New people can always hop into that one. And then the other one I started to tell you guys about too was the To Go Kit Club. So again, basically that means, yeah, I love all of the projects that you make. I just know you're gonna do a cute to-go kit every single month, which I hope you guys, I think I do, right? I really try to. So pick a cute stamp set. Maybe um, it might have framelits or a punch, designer series paper. There are always the different options, right? So it doesn't always have to be that highest price point. You could pick option number two or three, which are a little bit more economical. Um, but it basically is you wanna do those to-go kits every single month. I ship them to you every single month, or if you're local, you can pick them up. 
Um, and then again, you always get the Q Club member treats from me, plus you also get at least $30 in free host benefits in the To-Go Kit Club too. So if you guys have any questions on that, let me know, because I love to, That's that really helps me in my business too, because I know I have honestly kind of a set number of people that are gonna come to class each month or are gonna get the To-Go Kit. So yeah, it is helpful for me as well. Plus then you guys know you're always either gonna come make cute projects at class locally, or you're gonna get cute projects in the mail. So it's kind of a win-win for everybody, right? Okay, um, let's see. I was checking to make sure there weren't any more comments, but I think I'm caught up on those. Um, yay, okay, I think we're good. All right, I just wanna have a couple of quick reminders. Um, RSVPs for this holiday stamp a stack with the Making Christmas Bright stamp set. Class is going to be on Saturday, September 29th, or there's a to-go kit version also. I've been emailing about that, posting on, um, on gatheringinspiration.com, so if you have any questions, go check out those, or just email me or send me a message. Um, but yeah, so class on the 29th, or to-go kits will ship the, like the Wednesday after class. I'll get those to-go kits out in the mail. Um, I don't even have the, do I have the details? Maybe I do have the details. Here, hold on. I know I told you guys about it last week, but real quick, I will do the reminder. Yep, so the Making Christmas Bright. Oh, it's a stamp -a stack class too. So we're gonna make four different cards, three of each of those cards. So you get 12 cards all together. You get the Making Christmas Bright stamp set in class or in your to-go kit, and it's $40. If you wanna bump up and upgrade and get the Christmas Bulb Builder Punch, it's down at the studio where I'd have it, but it's the one, it's the punch that punches out those cute little Christmas bulbs right there. Um, that is an additional $16 fee for that punch. Um, RSVPs though are due this Tuesday, September 18th and prepayment as well. Um, it's just an additional $5 if you want the to-go kit. And then if you need it shipped to you, it's an additional $7 for shipping also, okay? Um, so let me know. I'd love to have you guys join us in that. And then also the other RSVP that's due on Tuesday the 18th is for the one day crafting retreat. The crafting retreat itself is here in Alma on Saturday, September 29th, but RSVP and prepayment are due this Tuesday, September 18th. Okay. And then, oh, bingo. That's the other thing I want to make sure everybody knows about. So still local. I'm not quite ready to do an online one, but you know, it could be in the works, in the works. Um, but let's see, local bingo here is on Thursday, October 4th from six until nine. And it costs $30 and I need RSVP and prepayment by Monday, September 24th. So all the details for all of those classes are all at gatheringinspiration.com too. So if you go there, you can click on the links and get more details on any of those. Or let me know if you have questions, okay? All right, let's see, because I jumped around a little bit, so now I have to refer to my notes here to make sure, because I think we might be ready. No, you know what, hold on. I have so many pieces of paper today, sorry. I gotta make sure. Oh, the one other thing I wanted to remind you guys about was the holiday catalog paper share. You have probably gotten email about this um, I think, I, yeah, I posted on my blog too, yeah. Um, so the emails show examples of all of the designer series paper, but the holiday catalog paper share, RSVPs are actually due tomorrow if you are interested in holiday catalog paper share. Basically, any designer series paper, specialty designer series paper, or just the specialty paper, like the galvanized metal paper and the black foil sheets, you get a quarter of a pack of every single one of those designer series paper and specialty papers that are in the holiday catalog. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 different packs of paper, get a quarter of each of them. So it's generally like a six by 12 piece. Um, that's how they come, six by 12 pieces. Um, unless they're only six by six, then obviously you're only gonna get a, gonna get a six by six piece. Um, but it's $33 for a quarter of a pack of all of our designer series paper. Uh, if you need it shipped to you, I did figure out I can send them right in my priority mail um, envelopes like I normally do, and I'll make sure I put something on top and bottom so the you know they stay nice and intact. Um, an additional seven dollars to ship it to you. So let me know if you want to do the paper share. RSVPs are due tomorrow, the fifteenth. Okay. Um, okay. One more flip through here to make sure I have told you guys about everything. 
that and that. Okay. All right. I think we are ready. We are going to flip the camera down now, right? Let me clean this off a little bit. And I'm going to, I finally have my latest class to go to show you guys. So I've done a YouTube video on it too. So if I screw anything up, I might have done a better job on the YouTube video. So Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio is the YouTube channel to go to, right? Um, and those are always on there too. So, and you guys know this, right? That even after the Tokoke RSVPs are done, you can still get the PDF tutorial and that is emailed directly to you. And then it has all of everything that we use in terms of the products that we use, the dimensions of everything, the colors, step-by-step um, -step exactly how to cut your paper, step-by-step -step how to put everything together so you end up with a beautiful finished project. Okay, so those are always available and you can always, you can see any of those to-go kits um, on the YouTube channel, Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio YouTube channel. So, okay, I keep looking around feeling like I had more, but I'm, I'm talking fast, right? I'm talking fast because I got to get to class. Okay, so turn your heads away for a quick sec. I am going to flip us down here. Okay, bear with me. Push that little button. Okay, let's get things kind of straightened out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put this guy right here. So if you are interested in putting in your online order by, it's actually next Wednesday, which what did I say was September 26th, you're gonna get the project. So I'm gonna demonstrate in just a couple minutes and your name is entered into the drawing. Um, oh, let's see, Philomena, I gotta scroll back if I can. She's asking, wish I was local to join you guys. Sounds like, oh, thank you, Philomena. I appreciate that. We do have a lot of fun. I, we do, we do. I wish you were local to us also. Um, those to-go kits are another option for you too. Maybe other people can kind of tell you if they've been enjoying those to-go kits that are watching on Facebook Live here too. I, I hope everybody's been enjoying those. Oh, and let's see, Marianne's saying she's finishing up a batch of Christmas cards. Nice. That is awesome. That's good. I love, you're my kind of gal there, Marianne, with like the multitasking. Sometimes I can't just sit and listen either. It's fun to have something to do too with your hands while you're watching and listening. So I, I'm with you. Okay, so I think I cut myself off. Um, but yeah, so if you put an order in, you're going to get the projects that I'm going to demonstrate and your name is entered into the drawing. I already moved that away. Oh, I know, because I don't have it, right? Oh, and you, got, you guys can see that it's not going to be backwards now. This is that warm-hearted stamp set, right? Now, not to confuse you, but just so to kind of clarify things a little bit with that $1,000 workshop, you're going to get all of these benefits too. So if you put an order in um, for the $1,000 workshop, don't use this host code. You're going to use the other one that's on gatheringinspiration.com. I told you guys about it, but let me see if I can find it here to remind you. Where did that piece of paper go? Oh, here. Okay. Can you guys see that? Maybe I'll, hmm, I'm going to zoom in. There's the host code. The YFCF7GMN. So use that host code instead of this one if you want to be a part of the $1,000 workshop. You are still going to get the projects that I demonstrate today, and your name is still going to go into the drawing to win the warm-hearted stamp set as well. Plus, then you're going to get either the $20 in free stuff or the half off item, okay? But if you don't want to go with a $1,000 workshop, if you place at least the $30 order, you're going to get the projects that I demonstrate and your name's going to go into the drawing to win that stamp set. And then, as always, if you bump your order up to $50, you get a free embellishment and the cards I demonstrate and possibly the stamp set. Make sure you use this host code, the FC39YQJA. And that's always on my blog, gatheringinspiration.com, and that right-hand side toolbar. Okay, oh, so let me show you. That's right, I got like all off-tangent here because I always have to pull that out so you guys can see that. But what we actually need to see, let me get my details here too, is I'm still flipping, ladies. I'm very concerned that I've missed something, but I think we're okay. All right, so I'm going to slide this out of the way for a sec. And this is my Falling for Leaves class to go. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun designing these cards. 
The stamp set is beautiful. I'm gonna show you, actually we'll flip, right? That's gonna slide all over the place. But this is the Falling for Leaves stamp set. Actually, I showed you guys this one last week too, didn't I? We did um, one of our demonstration cards was on this Falling for Leaves stamp set. So you guys may be familiar with this already with the Harvest of Thanks, thinking of you with a grateful heart and thankful, and then all the different leaf imagery, right? Then we have the Detailed Leaves Thinlets. So a bunch of awesome thinlets. Oh, the one, I don't think I need it though. Yeah, there's one that kind of cuts that stamp image out. Don't worry about it, but these are all the other ones. So you get a bunch of awesome detailed if you would like, and if not, there are just some simple ones that kind of cut the outlines out too. Um, but a gorgeous set of thinlets, and then these are the four cards, and then I'll tell you the different options, okay? So we have this, thinking of you with a grateful heart, and then another thinking of you with a grateful heart, but kind of a different um, color palette. And then I love this one. This is that tin tile embossing boulder, fabulous, with a thankful sentiment on it. And then some of that um, braided linen trim there. And then another one, see, isn't this fun? It just kind of cuts out that little outline there. It says harvest of thanks, okay? So these are the different options in the to-go kits, right? So option number one, is $63. It includes the stamp set and the framelits and then all four cards, two of each of them, plus the PDF tutorial. I do all of your die cutting for you, so all these little pieces will already be cut. This little guy right here too, I give you the ribbon, I give you everything. The only thing I can't do is the stamping, so you'll need your own ink. Ink colors that you need are Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Granny Apple Green, and Daffodil Delight. Those are the four ink pad colors that you'll need. So make sure you have those, and if you don't, just let me know, and we can get those ordered for you as well. Um, okay, but option number one is that $63, right? That includes all of this, right? Option number two is just $36. It does not include these detailed leaves thinlets. So you get the Falling for Leaves stamp set, and then you get all four cards, two of each of them, okay? The make and take materials for everything to make eight cards total plus the PDF tutorial. Option number one and number two, ship priority mail for $7. If you're local to me, just pick the studio pickup and then you don't have to worry about the shipping fee. Option number three is if you just want the PDF tutorial. So I tell you for all four of these cards, step by step, what colors everything are, the dimensions of everything, and then again, how to put it together step by step, how I would put the card together um, you know, to end up with a beautiful finished project. So the PDF tutorial is always $15. It is always available. So in two years, if you still want this PDF tutorial, you can email me and I will get it sent out to you, okay? And then option number four is for anyone that is in my downline in the Inkspired Stampers group. And you guys know all are welcome in our Inkspired Stampers group. All you have to do is buy the starter kit. And then, and that's an awesome deal as always, right? Plus then you're a part of a really fun group of uh, stampers. And then you can get to-go kits like this one each month at cost. It's basically just $12 to get the make and take supplies for all eight cards, two of each of the four different cards. You buy your stamp set. If you want the thin lints, buy those on your own. Use your own demo ID to get your discount, right? So you don't need to pay full price, right? You can use your discount. And then you have everything that you need to put these cards together. So let me know if you have any questions or if you're interested in this class to go. RSVPs are actually due next Friday, September 21, and then the expected shipping date of the to-go kits is Wednesday, October 3. So I'll put the link um, later. I'll put the link in the comments, and then you know I've been posting about it too on our group as well. So if you have any questions or are interested, I'd love to get you signed up. Okay, where are my notes? Oh no, I've piled everything on top of them. But I think... I really feel like I've gone, I've missed something, but I don't know. I, I'll see it after. Oh, can you guys see? These are my scribble notes. Woo, yeah. <laughs> How do I even read all of this, right? Um, I think we're good, though. Yeah, okay. Let's do our demonstrations, ladies. Are you guys ready? Are you ready to do some stamping? I know I am. I'm always ready to do stamping, right? Other things, not quite so much, but stamping, absolutely. Okay, so we're gonna make sure we're in center here, right? You guys are kind of quiet today. 
I'm glad we're not sideways anymore though, right? Isn't that nice? <laughs> so glad we got that figured out. Mm. Okay, so I've got some fun projects to show you guys. First of all, where's the stamp set that this goes with? Let me see. This card right here is the first one I'm going to show you guys. It says, happy for you. Oops, that's not in the view very well, is it? And then it's got these beautiful flowers. Oh, that's funny. Better than chocolate, Netflix, and books. Stamping, is that what you mean? Well, I think so, although I usually eat a bit of chocolate while I'm stamping, and I might be watching something on TV. I don't actually have Netflix, but I've heard awesome things about it. Although, I think I'm afraid to get sucked into it, too, because I think I wouldn't get anything done. People talk a lot about the binge-watching of shows, and I would have a problem. So, yeah, I don't think I can ever have Netflix. And books, I love books. But again, I don't indulge myself as much as I wish I did. <laughs> uh, but okay, anyway, so this is one of the cards I'm going to demonstrate. It features this super cute, this is the Bouquet Blooms stamp set. So we've got one sentiment that says, you're the best, some pretty flowers. I'm not quite ready to move away from the flowers. I know summer is kind of drawing to a close, although it feels really pretty hot here today. So I'm still... I'm still playing with some annual catalog flowery things as well as some fall and wintery kind of things. Um, yeah, <laughs> yes, got to balance things so there's time for stamping. I hear you. We need, yeah, we just need more time for all the fun things in life, don't we? Um, other sentiments on here are there's a friend, a thanks, a happy for you, and then lots of pretty flowers and leaves and things. So love this stamp set. I have to show you guys. This is another card. So I cased this out of, did I bring them? I did, okay, yep. Um, I cased this card basically from the video that Stampin' Up! did on our gatefold framelits dies. So this one I'm not actually gonna demonstrate, but I wanted to show you guys how cute it is, right? So this kind of tucks in here. It's a little bit funny there, I'm trying to get it like tucked in there. I've played with it too many times, but that's the basic idea, right? So there's the fold, and then you kind of untuck it, and then there's the inside. So these framelits, um, I'll show you. I had to label them, right? One says the top and one says the bottom. So these are the little guys that you put on your paper to actually make this card, the gatefold card, right? There is a video on YouTube. I, I was going to show you guys this card, but I fumbled with it a little bit, to be honest, and it is... It's a beautiful, wonderful video right on the Stampin' Up! YouTube channel. So if you go to the Stampin' Up! YouTube channel, you'll see exactly how to make this card probably way better than I could tell you guys how to do it. But I just wanted to show you because it uses a bunch of the stamps that are in the Bouquet Blooms stamp set, right? And then it uses the Gatefold Blossoms framelits, right? So this little guy is what needs to get tucked kind of back inside there. Oh, it's being kind of funny for me. There, and then that one. Oh, it's those little pieces, maybe. There. So, yeah, super duper cute card, right? But we're actually going to do the other one because that one was a little bit more than I could handle trying to show you guys how to do, basically. So, but we are going to use a bunch of the framelits, the gatefold framelits. I always put these in the back here, so I'm going to pull these guys out. So, these are the ones we're going to use. The cool thing is those little yellow flowers on the card there that you can see, those little guys, you get to um, die cut two of them at once. And then here's the other flower. And then we're just going to use the top of this framelit right on that stamping right there. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to get all my little parts and pieces out here. Okay, and my stamps. All right, I think we're good to go. Oh, let me give you dimensions while I'm thinking about it. And this was a super cute card. I have to tell you guys, I cased it. I loved it so much. You know, sometimes I'll find a card and I'll change it up a little bit, and sometimes I just love them exactly the way they are. So this was a case from uh, Pinterest um, from Mary Brown is the name of the gal that, that actually designed this card. So this is a piece of, uh, um, why am I drawing a blank? Because it's not Daffodil Delight. It's our yellow, the new yellow pineapple punch. Our new yellow in color okay so pineapple punch cardstock that measures the eight and a half by eleven this time we cut it in half at four and a quarter inches right there and then along the eleven inch side we scored it in half at five and a half inches to make our nice crisp fold on our card right 
And then we have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that measures, oh, let me make sure I have this right. This one is three and three quarters, actually. I'm trying to get that line up. Yep, three and three quarters by five. And then there's a little strip of, this is the Shaded Spruce um, Designer Series Paper in the Regals Designer Series Paper Pack. So stripes on one side and polka dots on the other. I had a lot of people, um, we're actually making this card at class too, the Simple Beautiful card class. A lot of people like the polka dots too. So they're both good, whichever one you choose. And then this strip measures one inch. You guys can see that, right? By four and three quarter inches, okay? And that's basically it. Then I've got some other little scraps. I cheated and actually did some die cutting already because if you can see, we actually have to crank this through three different times for those flowers and four different times for the leaves. So you guys didn't want to watch me do that over and over and over and over again. We're just going to do it once and then we'll add two with our little pieces I've already cut, okay? How cool is that, huh? I was thinking ahead. Every once in a while that happens. Okay, so let's do our stamping. Actually, you know what? My note also told me, oh, I do have it right here. Okay, this one with the photopolymer, I found that it's kind of handy to stamp using our um, stamp and pierce mat. Okay, so I've got my black ink. I'm cheating, you're not really, maybe you have this basic black ink. Um, if not, use Stazon or the black memento. I used black on a few different cards this month down at the stamp studio, so I had to break out this one that's not technically available any longer. So this is that really hard. Okay, so maybe right about there. I'm gonna press, because this ink, you know, it's the linen pad, not the firm foam. So I'm gonna press a little bit harder to make sure you get enough ink on there, but that looks really good. Okay, so we got that one. Next, we are gonna stamp right in the center with our shaded spruce ink. We have the happy for you right there that's not totally in the center because i want to have room for those flowers over there but isn't that so cute look at happy for you super duper duper cute little stamp okay so we are done with this part now i'm gonna see i'm gonna put a little scrap piece of paper underneath here because so this is this huge flower bit piece that all we really need are those leaves right there so we're going to ink this up I'm gonna stamp that right there. Good, okay, that worked. So that was in Shaded Spruce, those little leaves. And then in Mango Melody, love this color. This is a really good one for fall too, I'd say. Um, yeah, you could definitely change the colors. You know, if you didn't use a super bright card base, you could make this look more fall-like too, I would say, okay. but. I'm still, I'm holding on to summer for a little while longer. I'm gonna ink that guy up and put him right there. Okay, so that's it for stamping. Simple stamping here. Now we're gonna do our die cutting and make sure I haven't lost all my other pieces. I'm always worried about that. Okay, Oops, I don't want that, I want my big shot. Okay, so here is oops, that guy out of the way. You guys can all see that? All right, so we've got our big shot, got all my framelits. We're using the magnetic platform because we want to keep everything in, um, in its place, right? Okay, so these little guys are just gonna go right on here. Okay, they're just gonna cut out a little, a couple of those little flowers. Now this one you do have to move around a little bit, but gosh, did I really get that lucky? I think that looks good. Okay, I was gonna say, I thought you might have to turn it, turn it, turn it a little bit, but I think I popped that on there just so. And then, like I said, we just need the little tops of the leaves, so you don't even need to cut the whole thing out. You could, and then just cut off what you need for this card and save the rest for something else. That would be another idea, right? Okay, so we're cranking our handle, getting everything die cut here. All right. So we got that one, we got that one, and then those cute little, those little guys there too, okay? Wonderful. All right, we're gonna just slide those right off here and put them on our page. So now I think we can put things together. Let's see, I'm gonna open up my little cheater bag here with my extra pieces. Okay, pop those out. 
All right, adhesive, here we go. I'm trying to make sure I have everything where I need it, right? Okay. So we can put a little bit of adhesive on this guy, right? And I kind of put him at a little bit of an angle, maybe right about there. And this is the kind of fun thing about this card is it doesn't have to be precise. You kind of, you know, angle it, put it on there how you like. That's feeling like that's going to run out any minute now. Of course, right in the middle of our Facebook Live. Did I put that over too far? I think I did. Let's see if I can pick that up. I gotta make sure here. Scoot that over a tiny bit so there's room for my white on here. There we go. Okay, put that guy on there, right? Now, let's see, I need some dimensionals too. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back of these flowers and pop them on and then I'm going to kind of tuck the other flowers kind of or the leaves I guess I should say kind of back behind underneath everything okay so we're going to do like one there oh this is so cute I love these flowers and another one there and then we're going to take one more dimensional off and we're going to pop that one Maybe right there, right? Uh, where's my little, I want my little craft, my, the silicone craft sheet. I think it's kind of handy for these little guys so that if you run off the edge of your little pineapple punch flower, you don't stick to everything, right? All right, those and that one and then that one and that one. Oops, he's got a mind of his own there. And did I bring, hmm. I brought the wrong thingies there. We'll worry about that in a sec. I'm kind of, my head's already moving along. Okay, so sometimes maybe you need to like take off a little bit more that you don't need. So maybe put that guy right there. I guess this little thing, maybe I don't need. So, well, hi, Susie. How are you? Oh, thank you for sharing, Marianne. I appreciate that as always. We'll put that guy right there. Yeah, I think I don't like that little thing. So I'm keep peeling those off. We'll put this one. Oh my gosh, I love this. This one's got a bunch of extra on it. We'll see what happens. Oh, now ha, that thing stuck to my finger too. Things are all over the place. Let's see, I'm gonna pull those off. I want just a little bit there, like that. Okay, and then we're gonna put our little yellow guys on here. So I'm, I was looking, somehow I brought my, um, the wrong pearls, I mean rhinestones. Well, those are pearls. Okay, I'll show you what I mean here. I'm like blabbering on. So somehow I have these, which I think go to a totally different card down at the stamp studio. So I brought these on accident instead of my rhinestones. So imagine that I'm gonna put four little rhinestones on the center of those flowers, the little, little yellow flowers, and how much it changes the card. Thank you, Susie, I appreciate that. I think it's pretty cute too. So, okay, there you go, look at that, it's all done. The rhinestones must be at the studio because I'm looking all around, I do not see them. So anyway, that's the first card I wanted to show you guys today. So bear with me real quick while I kind of tidy these things up because I gotta get them back down to the stamp studio. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm not even gonna worry about cleaning them off because we're gonna get them all dirty again very shortly. Okay, so there's one of the cards, right? Now the other one, oh my gosh, this is another one we're making um, at class today. Okay, let me show you. Oh, this is such a beautiful card. So, you know, I said I, I'm trying to do some still kind of summery stuff, some fall stuff, and then we're working our way over to Christmas stuff too. So check out this card. Can you guys see it uses um, one of our framelits, I'll show you those in just a sec because I can't remember the names of anything, but this is the Mary and Christmas with some beautiful designer series paper. And then did you guys see, um, this is that corrugated embossing folder that I was telling you about that were um, that I gave away to, along with some little sequins there also. Those are the like mini adhesive backs, or the basic, I guess, adhesive back sequins. Okay, so let me get all my pieces out. Here. Thank you guys. Oh, I appreciate that. I love them too. Um, okay. 
So you guys want to see, this is the stamp set. It is called Merry Christmas to All, right? So they've got the Christmas, Merry, Happy, and then a bunch of other. So you can make lots of different sentiments, right? There's the holidays also. You can build lots of cool things because then there's another Christmas, blessings, holiday, wishing from us to you, bright. There's a little and sign. Merry, cheer, happy, have a, you, a, <laughs> wishes and very. That sounds really weird, doesn't it? But then check out these others. Can you guys see this one says, wishing you peace and love all year long. And then this is fun because this little guy is what we used with our Christmas stamped right inside. So these are not to scale. They are larger in real life. This is a good one. So season's greetings from our home to yours. And then I love this one too. May the beauty of the season fill your heart with joy. So let me show you because these are a lot bigger. This is a really like a 28 piece photopolymer stamp set. So can you see how much there? Can you kind of see them? How much bigger like that? That one right there. May the beauty of the season fill your heart with joy. That's a big sentiment. So lots of pretty images and then tons of words. You can really build a great sentiment with that stamp set too. And then did I bring the framelits? Oh, I did. They're right here in front of me. Okay. So these are the Merry Christmas Thinlets die. Oh, I'm glad you guys. So you all like the card and the colors. Yes. Did I say that? This is the Merry Merlot, one of our new, um, um, actually they're both neutrals, the Merry Merlot and the um, gray granite. Yeah. So it's just kind of a nice a change of pace too with being able to use the new colors, right? Okay, so these framelits, oh, am I gonna be able to, hey, if I, huh, no, I can't. I was gonna say, if I hold them up, maybe you guys can figure out. This one says Christmas, and I honestly can't, I don't know. That looks like happy, and I fa la la, or I don't know what that says, but it's in the book, right? And then there's the little framelit, and then we're actually using these two. This is like the bigger, can you guys see? Oops, the Mary's getting all caught up in the, there. So there's the label, right? So there's kind of a bigger label that we're using, and then there's a little tiny label. So this is the one that's gonna cut, you know, for scale, that one cuts that one out. So this other guy is probably about half the size of this one, okay? But so it's a great stamp set and framelits in our holiday catalog. All right, so let's get our stamps out. And then we need this guy too, and these and all these little bits. Okay, so I think now that I've got everything pulled out, I have like a major mess here. <laughs> okay, let's see, I can do this, I can do this. So what are we gonna do first? Let's do, I do want this little guy again. I was finding that, that these photopolymer stamps get a little futzy on me, and I think even more so down at the stamp studio than here, but where's my little, I have a little gray granite piece, I thought, to do my, hmm, where did it go? There it is. Okay, good. I was going to say, I know I cut more, but okay. So we're going to do our stamping on this piece. This is just a little scrap piece right here. So this is my gray granite ink. Oh, Joyce is back. I'm glad to have you back, Joyce. Okay, so with this guy right here, I'm going to stamp that on there in gray granite. You see, isn't that, this just like such a cute little frame all on its own. So then you can put about any stamp you wanted in there, right? Okay, so there's that one. Then we're gonna do our Christmas on inside of this. This would be a good one to use your Stamparatus with too, if you have that to help you line things up. I'm gonna just hope for the best here. Oh boy, that's not so good. We're gonna try it again. Here, hold on. I think it's because my camera, <laughs> I always say that. My camera is right where my head would normally be when I'm trying to line things up. But let's try this. We'll see. We'll do the best we can. And if it doesn't work out quite right, I'll fix it later. But you guys will get the idea. See, this is why you need your Stamparatus, though, because then you wouldn't have any problems with this. So what did I do? That one I went too high. So now this one I'll probably go too low. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Good, Phew. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna close that up because on the inside of our card, I put our sentiment, the wishing you peace and love all year long. So let's stamp that on our inside piece. We'll do that and then we can get our stamps and ink out of the way. Okay, let's see how I do with this one. All right, that looks good. I'm happy with that. 
All right, so we're gonna get the stamps and the ink out of the way. Now I think we can do our big shot work, okay? Scoop those guys. Don't need that little pad anymore. Big shot, where's the big shot? I put it over here, okay. Oh, you know what I didn't ring though was the other, all right, we're gonna do our die cutting first and then I gotta grab my other um, platform to do our embossing, but that's right here. So, ooh, look at all that ink. I'm gonna get that all over something. Oh, let's see, Joyce says, I got lost for a minute. Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad to get back on. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet, Joyce. I'm glad you were able to get back on easily enough. Okay, so this is just basically a scrap piece of copper foil sheets, just big enough basically to put our Mary sentiment on there, right? And then here we've got our Christmas piece with our little label framelit. So we're gonna pop this one right on here. And it's moving, you know you cannot fight the magnetic field, right? So just move your paper. You'll be driving yourself crazy if you keep trying to move this, um, the framelit. Just move your paper and then the framelit won't move anymore. Okay, <laughs> all right, I think. I'm gonna make sure we're getting it all here. I think we're good. Oh, you know what I wanna do though? Actually, here, I'm gonna take that one off because that one comes out very easily but we gotta go back and forth a couple times with this one. I brought my Big Shot die brush this time. That's probably why I forgot my other platform, right? Because you just can't remember everything. I mean, seriously. All right, let's see about this. I might even, that is gonna pop pretty much right out of there, right? Okay, so let's just use our Big Shot die brush. You guys can kind of see that, right? Yeah, ooh, I love that, see? You know, last week I forgot that and I was taking forever to pop that thing out. So do you see how quickly and easily that comes out with your Big Shot die brush? All right, bear with me one sec. I gotta go get my other platform so that we can do our embossing. Okay, hold on. Here I come. I'm trying to get the ink off my finger too while I'm running away. <laughs> okay. So we've got our other platform. We do not need this one. All right, have you guys seen that, um, the corrugated embossing folder? Hold on one sec, I gotta get this here. So this is that one I was showing you earlier. Yes, it popped right out, you are right. Love that, go back and forth a few times with those detailed um, images and then use your Big Shot die brush. Okay, so check this out. We have our piece of gray granite cardstock. I'm gonna put that in there, hope I lined it up. Seam goes in first. I just saw a video that confirmed that because I, I knew there was you know some, I don't know, some rule out there and I honestly couldn't remember which way. And I don't know if it really makes a big deal, but that's what Stampin' Up! said in a video I watched recently. So that's what I'm going with. You only needed one of these two, one clear um, cutting pad because this is the dynamic embossing folder and it's super thick and check this out isn't that awesome like look at how cool that paper is now it was just flat matte basic paper before and now it's this awesome corrugated embossing that's done on there so isn't that cool all right let's see i need to give you guys measurements too i haven't totally forgotten about that i think do we have everything let me do a quick scan to make sure feel like, yeah, you know what? I'll make sure as I as I show you measurements. Okay, so first of all, we have our Mary Merlot cardstock that measures the eight and a half by 11. We cut it in half at, along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches, and then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it in half at four and a quarter inches, right? Okay, next we have our beautiful piece of Joyous Noel Specialty Designer Series paper. There is what I'm trying to show you guys, that copper foil right on the paper. And then this is another side, very beautiful as well. Not quite as glitzy and glimmery as this side, right? This piece measures two inches by five and a half inches, and that's gonna fit right on there. Then this piece of gray granite cardstock measures two inches by five inches. And we're gonna actually punch that right now while I'm thinking about it. I should have done this. I told everybody at class, punch it first and then emboss. And this is exactly what I did when I first put it together too. It works. It's just a little bit futzier to get into that um, 
um, punch, but it works. Oh, I did forget one other die cut, but we'll do that in a sec. Okay, so there's that one. And then actually this piece on the inside was the only other one that you need to know measurements on. This one measures the four inches by five and a quarter inches. So the one thing that I forgot was I need a circle. So let me grab the big shot again. Get my correct platform, which is not this one. Okay, here we go. I moved the one away and I forgot to grab the other. Okay, so this is just, you can see, it's a serious scrap piece of paper, right? Um, does the, you know what? I was wondering that too, Marianne. It kind of felt like this one when I measured it, after I did it, it, it shrunk a little bit, but we'll verify that. But I don't think it, if it shrunk, it didn't shrink too much, honestly. Um, let's see. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Let's look. Because I am I know I started out with that size piece of paper. So let me run this, and we're going to look at it one more time. We'll look at it, because it does seem like it would shrink up a little bit, right? Kind of the width of it. This was the largest circle from the stitch shape framelits that we're going to put right there, okay? All right, but let's check out that other your question, Marianne. Get this big shot out of the way. Okay, because... Yeah, it really doesn't because this, it was two inches. I mean, if it shrinks, it's a, a 16th of an inch, I'd say. So it's really, I would say, not shrinking much at all. Um, hold on though. Now, so I have more of these cut. I think they're right here. Yeah, because I needed a few more. <laughs> Sorry, I just ran into the chair that had the platform on it. Okay, so this was the original piece. Oh, wow. No, okay, we're good. So it measures two inches by five inches. Yep, and then this one did measure two by five also. I was thinking, oh, it shrunk down a bunch, but I, I punched it off. So, yeah, so it really doesn't. It's still two inches by five inches. So, like I said, maybe a sixteenth of an inch kind of on the width here, but that's it. So, nope, it doesn't really shrink. It is pretty amazing, isn't it? Okay, so I think we are ready to put things together now. So let's add, we're gonna put this piece on the inside oops, of our card. Okay, I'm gonna fold that. Get that one right there. Oops, okay, move that where we like. Okay, that's good there, right? And then we're gonna put some adhesive on the back of our designer series paper. Put that guy right about there, right? Next, we are gonna put more adhesive on the back of our corrugated embossed piece. And we're gonna pop him maybe right about there, I'd say. Then I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back of this guy and the dimensionals are hiding over here. Ooh, it's one of those days, ladies. Here, I thought I was being really organized, but wow, this table is a mess. <laughs> I'm glad you could, well, it looks pretty messy even right here, doesn't it? But if you could see the rest of it, <laughs> oh well, we're having fun, right ladies? Okay, I'm gonna put this white piece right on there. Now I need my little silicone craft sheet because I'm gonna just put my adhesive on my Mary. I just like to use my snail. I was telling you guys that the other day, I think. Right, I think I did another really detailed piece. Is that all done? Of course, I think I'm getting a little bit on there, but okay. So when you use that, then it's super easy to just put this right on there, right? And then, so I think I have my fast fuse here. We're gonna have to use this. All right, hopefully I don't screw anything up, right? Because there's no forgiveness in my fast fuse and that got flipped over. Oops, boy, ladies, I am on fire here there we go okay oops upside down now we're gonna put this one if i had more adhesive i would make that y go more there we go yep that's gonna stay okay so there's that then we need a little bit of baker's twine just to kind of add a couple of fun elements here so we're going to tie our little bow with our white baker's twine okay and scissors. 
right here. Okay. Oh my goodness. So normally I would not use fast fuse, but let's see if we can get like just a little run of it right there. I would normally just use a little bit. I did. Okay, that's good. I got some on there. Just a little run of snail or fast fuse for our bow. Those things get twirled around sometimes. Do you ever notice that? I bet this fast fuse though, if I kind of, there, that's gonna do that. And then last little embellishment is these fun adhesive back sequins. So you can see they come in a few different colors. Mine get all stick, stuck together sometimes. So I put them in a little bit bigger package because I think it's a little bit easier. Um, but these are kind of, um, honestly, I don't even know what color they are, but they look like peach. They're like the peach ones, whatever. Maybe these are petal pink, honestly. They might be petal pink, but I loved, I thought they kind of picked up some of the soft, subtle details. And then basically there is our second card, right? So, oh my goodness, I think we did it, ladies. <laughs> craziness around here. But okay, quick recap. I hope you guys enjoyed these cards. Let me make sure I get these both back out here. So don't forget, I have to do that quick recap. I'm going to tell you guys, right? If you put in your online order, oh, thank you, Marianne. I appreciate it. Of at least $30 by next Wednesday, September 26, you're going to get these two projects that I demonstrate and your name goes in the drawing to win the Warm Hearted Host stamp set. This is in the back of our holiday catalog, right? If you bump your order up to $50, you always get a free embellishment from me. And then this week only, well, through next Saturday, September 22nd, is our $1,000 workshop, right? So I need nine people that wanna, well, nine people will get $20 in free product and one person is gonna get a half off item right? So you can put your order in online. You can email me your order. Make sure you send me. I need to know both the $20 in free stuff and a half price item because you don't know which one you're going to get picked for, right? This is the host code you want to use though if you put in a $100 order. It is the YFCF7GMN, okay? Then you also get your name in the drawing and you get these projects and all that other good stuff too, okay? So if you want to do a smaller order, use this host code. If you're going to do a $100 order, use this code. And they're both going to be on my blog tomorrow morning. This one's already there, okay? So thank you so much for watching. I just appreciate, like I said before, I appreciate your support of my business. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, Marianne's saying, I think I shared. Okay, well, I'll check it out. Oh, she says, I think I said I shared. I think you did too. I'll check that out too. But thank you so much. Thank you for your shares and your comments. I just love having you guys here with me every Friday. So that being said, actually next Friday, no Facebook Live, we'll be back here live on Friday, September 28th. Okay, so thanks so much. Have a great weekend. Happy Friday, everybody. Bye-bye.